G'day everyone, Ramsey from One Stop Warehouse and today I'm joined by the Products and Solutions Manager of Huawei Australia, Simon Wang. Hey Simon. Hey, good to be here, Renzi. Good to have you, Simon. Thanks for coming. So today we have this uh, new beast from Huawei. It's the 29.9 KTL M3. And it's basically the successor to the previous generation 29.9 KTL. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a uh, bit of a history lesson, the 29.9 KTL from Huawei was the one of the best sellers and uh, first comers of the under 30 KVA category for STCs uh, and also no requirements for secondary grid protection, of course. And it was the ideal uh, solution for this category with the good specifications such as four MPPTs and many more nice features. So now they have brought the new version and this is what we'll speak about today with Simon. And unbox, uh, talk, ab give, you s give you a walkthrough and do the comparison to the previous generation. So Simon, tell us a bit more about this beast and uh, what's its applications and who is best suited to install this? Hi, Renzi. Uh, as you mentioned, so the M3 units is designed you know, for the STC drops, so in the range from 30 kilowatts to 100 kilowatts. So for the Huawei new M3 uh, series, it comes with three sizes. So 29.9, 36, and 40. So for 36 and 40, and actually the maximum AC output is uh, 40 kVA and 44 kVA. So this new unit comes with a lot of innovative technologies carried from our telecom business. So to improve the quality, safety, and a better experience you know, for, this, uh, for the installers. Absolutely, and I'm very excited for the launch of this product at our uh, One Stop Warehouse. So without further ado, let's have a closer look and open the box. Hello guys, so we just taken the inverter out of the box and all the accessories and wow, must I say, this is an incredibly beautiful inverter, especially for its power capacity and um, what I can see now from the previous generation, we'll put a photo up here of what the old 29.9 looks like. This one is completely redesigned with a brand new infrastructure and chassis, you can say. It's completely uh, much more narrower, so about 300 mil narrower, so very helpful for those uh, where installers might experience a small plant room with limited wall space and also modernized the front look so it kind of has that uh, fresh residential range look to it and as you can see on the terminal interface very simple much more simplified than the previous one so this is also very handy and may you know speed up the installation so simon can you tell us what's in the box uh, one by one and talk through this terminal interface as well yes uh, first i'm going to introduce about the accessories so the accessories is quite easy. You have the mounting plates in here, so quite straightforward. You have all the accessories you need uh, for the mounting, like the bolts, this partition plates for the AC connections, and the wrench. And uh, you have this uh, AC junction box for the AC connection, so make it more safe. And uh, you have this uh, FAT, FAT reports. Also, you have the installation menus covering all the commissioning steps and all the functions of the inverter. And you have the stubbly uh, MC4 connectors with all the common connectors. And at the end, this small, don't miss these small things. So this small screw is the DC switch locking screws for the built-in DC switch to for the compliance of uh, AS5033. That's right. And I uh, also wanted to add this AC terminal box cover. It's IP68 rated. So uh, completely waterproof. And yeah, once again, this is quite important to comply with the standards. So small things can make mean the biggest things sometimes. So don't forget that. All right, guys. Now we'll talk through uh, kind of some of the key features of this inverter. OK, 
Okay guys, so now Simon will walk us from left to right uh, for the terminal interface and see what type of connections you can expect and how to commission this inverter. Sure, Renzi. Uh, so I'm going to start from the left to the right. So on the left here, you can see here is the built-in DC switch. And then you here have uh, this smaller hole here. So this is for the locking screws. And the screw is already included in the package. Fantastic. And uh, this switch is uh, fully compliant with the related requirements on the AS5033. Mm. And here you have the connection port for the smart dongles. For the smart dongle, you have two versions. One is the Wi-Fi dongle, the other one is the 4G dongle. So each dongle can support up to 10 devices. And you do not need a smart logger anymore for these units, which made commissioning much easier. Yeah, save money and time. Awesome. Yes, of course. And uh, here you have the COM ports. 16 COM ports is for the R35 connections between the inverters and the smart meter. And for this COM port, and uh, you also can connect remote scheduling device and maybe the, the remote shutdown device to these COM ports. So comparing to the previous versions where you have three COM ports, this one only have one, make the installation much easier. Wow, much more simplified, yes. Yes. And uh, now for the DC connection area, you have this uh, uh, Stubbling MC4 uh, connection port and uh, you have uh, four MPPTs, so two string inputs per MPPTs. So eight inputs in totals. So the four MPPTs is quite enough for most uh, uh, rooftops. Mm. Also, some quick question. Yeah. In some scenarios, we experienced an uh, installer might have lost the DC connectors in the in the box. Yeah. And since you installing and manufacturing a Stobly MC4 on your yeah. inverters, can they simply buy MC4 from us and yes. use that instead? Yes. MC4 oh. is really common in this market. Yeah. This yeah. is a, the industry norm, I guess. So. Yes. Okay. So it's much easier, you know, compared to before. You use the uh, Amphino plugs. Yeah. So this this make the installations, you know, much easier. Awesome. Good to f good to hear. And uh, now you have the AC connection ports. Yeah, so quite robust and uh, it's just OT terminal here. And you have the three phase and the neutral and the, the earth. Yeah, so it's uh, so quite straightforward yeah, and very good quality. Beautiful, quite heavy duty and modular and easy to install. Yes. And also um, you have I noticed very large heat sinks. Can you explain why they're so large? Yes, I forgot to mention this. So the inverter, this CNI inverter, is natural cooling designs. Mm. So thanks a lot for the, our experience in telecom business. And uh, so the position of the PCB boards is, you know, is specially designed, you know, for the ventilations. Yep. And also the heat sinks you see is really long, really large, and uh, this makes the inverters is uh, totally fine with the natural cooling design concept. So no external fans, yeah. which make the inverter really robust because external fans is a part you know, where you have a lot of failures. Yes. So it's, uh, I noticed Huawei love the no wear and tear item in their production. So that's good to see. And ultimately, is it 10 years warranty? Yes, of course. Awesome, awesome. Cool, guys. So that's a rundown of the inverter's uh, inputs. Now we'll give you a couple of key features why you should buy this inverter as well. Okay guys, now on top of that, we're gonna give you five key features and ultimately improvements from the previous 29.9 generation and what this M3 offers. So first I'll hand it over to Simon to give the first point. Yeah, so the first point, personally I think the most important one, easier commissioning. You do not need smart logger anymore, yeah, which wow. makes the installer's job much easier. Inverter is compatible with the uh, smart dongle, you have Wi-Fi dongle, you have the 4G dongles, so each dongle can support up to 10 devices. Perfect. Really enough for the STT jobs. Yes. And all the commissioning, all the parameter settings can be done with the filter solar app on your smartphone. It brings me to point number two. This inverter is compatible with pretty much every panel on the modern age market. What I mean by that is the MPPT rated in max input current 26 amps. So therefore, 13 amps per single pair input. Way more than any ISC of panel on the market that we sell, and many pretty much the whole market. Now, point number three. So for point number three, this inverter is now coming the A Huawei AI-powered AFCI, arc fault circuit interrupter functions, same as all the residential inverter from Huawei. So this guarantee the safe roof for the owners, and because the rooftop fires is uh, quite common in the industry in recent years, and the arc fault just stopped 
definitions. The, the function support up to 200 meters, which is enough for most SDC jobs. Commercial, yeah. Yes, and uh, it's give you insurance, you know, for the safe roofs, and also when you use this together with the optimizer from Huawei, you can pinpoint the position of the arc fault, which make the O and M much easier. Wow, amazing tool. Now, bringing me to point number four. This inverter is rated for very humid installations. What I mean by that is it has a PID built-in recovery, which means it can have up to 3% more energy yield uh, within six months, as confirmed by previous case studies. Cool. And uh, the next one, the final one for me. Now, this inverter is compatible with the Huawei 450 watt optimizers. Wow. Yeah, so there's a big jump. And uh, when you toge use together with the optimizers, the first is the yield increase. For shaded systems, you can get a yield increase up to 30 percentage. Wow. Yeah, and also you have a panel level monitoring with the optimizers. And for Huawei optimizers, it communicates with the inverter with the PLC, which means you do not need any additional hardware. Understood, guys. So mm. as you can see, it has amazing features and functions. It can do it all, panel level monitoring and yield and optimization, the latest and greatest AI technology. It looks beautiful, uh, installation um, f friendly. And yeah, really excited to sell this to you guys and stay tuned for more videos.